Those of you in art school, there's no such thing as cheating in the professional world. And do I trace as a professional artist? You bet I trace. I don't like drawing cars. You know, everyone has a thing they're good at. I can draw a car, but it's going to take me an hour to draw a good one. I don't have an hour for a storyboard panel. We're talking about telling stories with speed. I have 10 minutes. I have to do a complete panel in 10 minutes. If I'm going to trace something, I'm going to trace something. All right, so in this case, I'm going to take a layer and I'm going to import an image as a new layer. And as I told you, I don't like drawing cars. I don't want it that big. I'll take it, figure out where I want the car. Put it down on a lower layer. And then if, uh, as soon as I want to start inking on this thing, let's see which brush I've got. All right, that's pretty good. This is so much faster for me. You know, even if I'm just doing a, a quick thumbnail, obviously I'd, I'm not even going to take 10 minutes working with you guys here. But even just quickly, just kind of getting the flavor and feel, and I'm going to show you a sample of, of a piece where I actually use this very car. A storyboard artist cannot ask too many questions. It's one thing I'm always working with my guys on is ask more questions. Who is it? How big are they? What, what nationality are they? What are they feeling? What are they wearing? What kind of car do you want? There's so many questions to really get into there because generally when you're getting notes, the director is thinking about one aspect, not necessarily everything that you need to in or to storyboard, but it's the first thing they're going to criticize later. So now I can just erase that. I could not have sketched that that fast. And granted, it's not like that's any gorgeous work of art, but it's a hell of a lot faster, and especially if I'm taking the time when I'm uh, really storyboarding. In a minute and a half, I could have a gorgeous looking car sitting there. And there's no faster way of doing it. Between Google and digital photography now, I mean, I never go anywhere without, you know, without my digital camera. I'm always taking reference photos. And, you know, hands, it's another thing, I hate hands. It just, they can do so much. So, camera, hand, photo, in, done. Or just as a reference to sit there and look at. I always have my mirrors with me. I've got mirrors behind me, in front of me, over top of me, and I've, I'm surrounded by mirrors at, at, at my studio.